Hello guys and welcome to November 2023. This is going to be an intro that's going to set the top of all 12 zodiac signs. It will be broken out in your own video. It just made sense to do the intro a little bit separate and then we will get into the your specific November based upon your rising and sun signs. Thank you so much for lending me your ears guys and this is November 2023 welcome which ends or means the end of an intense scorpio season and the sun's entry into adventurous sagittarius while saturn the disciplinary the disciplinarian of the zodiac goes direct you must put your desires into action or watch them fade away venus the ruler of love comes home to libra making this a romantic month even with the stress of figuring out holiday plans just be mindful of accidentally being rude when Mercury enters Sagittarius. While the transit can help us stand up for ourselves and act assertively, it can also cause us to say things that we regret. A new moon in Scorpio will give you one last time or chance to celebrate spooky season before the archer takes over and we suggest treating yourself to a beauty gift. Mm before you go and have to shop for others. Just treat yourself, guys. Once the sun enters Sagittarius, expect your social calendar to be busy as you navigate Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate. The month will end with warrior Mars entering loud Sagittarius and the full moon in Gemini. Transits that book in November's final weekend. That is a recipe for a burnout. Scheduling sleep is a must as is continuing to practice self-care all month long. It's November 2023. This month points to fun and epic proportions, but only if you can step up to the plate when Saturn goes direct and make it through its hot-headed Sagittarius season, wow, which true and form comes with some controversy without going off on someone that you love. For the past five months, Saturn, the rule maker of the Zodiac, has been retrograde. As a result, it's like the teacher stepped out of the classroom. So you will let your mind go wild with fantasies from asking a friend to be more than a friend to considering quitting your job. However, now that the strict planet goes direct on Saturday, November the 4th in Pisces, you have to put your money where your mouth is with all due respect. Go ahead and take action or be ready to let some daydreams stay just that, dreams. <laughs> Everyone loves lo lo love life this month will get a boost of star power on Wednesday, November the 8th, when the planet of love, romantic Venus, will enter its home sign in Libra, merging hot sex with intimate love. Oh, were you trying not to fall for that person you were hooking up with? Don't be surprised if you get caught, if you catch feelings or if you get caught up. For those in long-term relationships, this sees you thinking optimistically and glass half full-ish. You may realize that you've been neglecting your partner or forgotten how absolutely awesome they are. And of course, you don't need to be dating or paired up with anyone to enjoy the benefits of this transit. Venus rules love in all forms so we feel closer to friends around this time or is that person becoming more than a friend sorry venus can be a bad influence on thursday november the 9th talkative mercury enters bold sagittarius and this helps everyone asserts them assert themselves as a result it's easier to stand up for yourself at work or block any trolls commenting on your ig however on a bad day this transit sees you feeling ready to share some harsh truths. Is it worth all of the drama is what you need to ask yourself. Be warned of anything that you'll later regret. Don't say something that you will regret. So you might want to be careful and not to drink too much around that date. While the Archer takes over later this month for most of November, we're in Scorpio season, which means that it's still it's still Halloween and not too late to celebrate with a spooky tattoo or out of this world makeup look. Just saying. The week of November, Monday, November 13th, brings a new moon in Scorpio. 
And it is time to do so. It's a great time to do so as this phase of the moon is associated with originality because transformative, transformative Scorpio loves a makeover. This is especially true for beauty looks such as experimenting with a different hair color or treating yourself to a piercing. Go for the gusto, guys. The sun moves into fire sign into, of course, our fire sign Sagittarius on Wednesday, November 22nd. Sagittarius is the sign of adventure and travel, which is why some readers can't go, can't wait to go and see their families or some listeners can't wait to go and see their families and others are stressed out even thinking about it. There's a lot of pressure this time of the year. Some people may feel lonely. Others may feel overwhelmed and Thanksgiving for some people can be complicated. That's why Sagittarius season is also an exercise in holding boundaries, guys. It's also a very social sign, encouraging you to stay plugged with your chosen family if you can't be with them physically and practice extra self-care. If Mercury's moves earlier this month warned you of saying the wrong thing, when the fighter Mars moves into, hot -headed, into the hot-headed fire sign on Friday, November 24th, this transit indicates that some words will be exchanged, but you know what? Sometimes people need to hear the truth. And that is my motto. I find that the truth, regardless of how you deliver it, sometimes is going to make a person react. So it's not necessarily how you say it. It's not necessarily what you're saying is how you're saying it. But you have to just understand, guys, that with some people, it doesn't matter how you say it or what you're saying. The moment you hold them accountable or they feel a certain way about what you're saying it's instantly going to be an exchange because my motto is, is that the most sensitive people are the most reactive, but you may not be a reactive person and just be a person that's going to give back whatever energy you get, but then you get the labels. So be mindful of that. Um, and I'm going to let you know that the weekend is bookended by another stressful cosmic event. That particular weekend, now we just got through talking about Mars entering um, the hot-headed fire sign on Friday, November 24th, and that is entering Sagittarius. But on Monday, November 27th, there's a potential anxiety-provoking full moon in Gemini. While plenty of us has to go back to work around this time, if you can, please catch up on rest. And that is that. So that is a snapshot, guys, of each and every one of some of the major transits that we're going to be talking about in November of 2023. Thank you so much for lending me your ears. And I will see you in the all signs. And we will be kicking that off shortly. Thank you so much. Welcome to November 2023, Pisces. This month finally sees you getting the love that you deserve, but there is a catch. At the end of October, your horoscope gave you a gift you really appreciated, the excuse to postpone an important conversation. It was Halloween, there was an eclipse and a full moon. It was a wild time. And as a warning, November ends with a bang as well. But sorry, but first, but first, Sorry, you finally have to hash a few things out. For the past five months, Saturn, the rule maker of the Zodiac, has been retrograde. This also slowed down the decision-making processes for all of us. So when the planet goes direct in your sign on Saturday, November the 4th, it is time to be bold. And yes, that means in communication as well. Whether you and your dating partner discuss monogamy or you tell a friend that you want to spend the holidays with them or a family member that you don't. The stars ask you to be bold, Pisces. Pro tip, being bold just really means being unapologetically yourself. If you can be honest about your desires from sexual fantasies to, pol to a political position, you've refrained from expressing, this month looks to be an absolute epic one for your love life. And that includes friendships, Love is not limited to romantic partnerships. When romantic Venus comes home to Libra via your eighth house of sex and transformation on Wednesday, November the 8th, a relationship finally feels like it's back on track. Congratulations, Pisces. 
Yes, those those dating reading this may mean some of the best sex of your life, but also you're getting ahead in professional relationships as well. The next day, Thursday, November the 9th, messenger Mercury enters confident Sagittarius in your 10th house of social status, highlighting the great work you've done recently. Congratulations, Pisces. For some Pisces, this suggests praise and hopefully more money at work. However, this could also indicate that the band is getting booked for a gig you desperately wanted or a side business you started is going to take off just in time for holiday shopping. You've earned it, Pisces, so don't forget to be proud of yourself. You're honestly one of the coolest of the zodiac signs. You're creative, philosophical, and fun without even trying. People adore you, Pisces, and you just tend to have your head in the clouds. <laughs> Combine this flakiness, sorry, with the fact that you are... You're your own harshest critic. You don't always realize what a catch you are. It's been a busy month and we're not even halfway through. When the sky goes dark with the new moon and intense Scorpio on Monday, November 13th, blow off everyone and catch up on rest. New moons mark cycles, new cycles. But sometimes all you need to feel refreshed is a night of really good sleep. Once the sun enters Sagittarius on Wednesday, November 22nd, you can expect to be busy for the rest of the month. That welcome news regarding that Mercury brought, yes, you can feel proud about an accomplishment, but that also means that you're going to have to continue to work hard to maintain it while continuing to practice self-care too, of course. The final week of November brings Native American Heritage Day and Thanksgiving to those who celebrate. Regardless of how you feel about the holidays, you really deserve to take some time off, babe. We warn you that you're getting attention and praise this month. When Mars, the ruler of, of war, enters bossy Sagittarius Friday, November 24th, your phone is going to be blowing up. Answer what you absolutely have to, but don't be afraid to silence your phone and stay off social media. I know that's too much of a stretch for a lot of you. Moving on. When the stars ask you to work hard, it didn't mean to work yourself to the point of a burnout. The weekend is bookended by a draining full moon in Gemini on Monday, November 27th. And all you want to do is chill. So if there's one thing the holidays are good for, it's taking a break. So blame the Puritans, blame it on your astrology, but know that you deserve all of the goodness that came your way this month, even if you went on vacay mode. Enjoy, and I'll see you in December. Thank you for lending me your ears, Pisces. We're going to conclude your November with that. And I just want to say, have a fabulous Thanksgiving. I hope that this holiday finds you well and in good spirits. And I will see you next month when we do it again. Bye, Pisces.